I want to show you how to use the wild coat corer to extract lake sediments from a pond such as this. The coring device has several components, and to start off with, we have the stainless steel core barrel with a uh, cutting bit that gets threaded onto one end. Next we have the core tube. This is uh, plastic and we'll put a cork catcher in the end of that. That will help prevent the sediment from coming out the bottom end. We're going to insert this into the core barrel against the cutting head. Next we'll put on the handle and we'd be ready to take this out into the lake, push it down into the sediment to retrieve some core. Notice there's this flap at the top which will allow air to come out, but as we pull the sediment core out of the mud, this will go down and make a seal to prevent the loss of sediment out the bottom end. If the lake is deeper, we may need to use an extension handle. And so we have this extension handle, which will simply go right on top like this, bolt into place, and now we have a much longer coring device. Notice on this extension handle, I've taped a cloth tape measure so I can determine the depth of the water and how much core I'm retrieving as I pull the sediment core out of the mud at the bottom of the lake. Now we're ready to take a sediment core. I'm going to lower this down into the lake. As soon as I feel it hit the bottom of the mud, I note the depth on the tape measure and then I start pressing the coring tool down into the sediment. Once it's in the sediment as far as I can reach, I'll make note of the depth on the tape measure once again. Now that I've retrieved the coring tool, I'll extract the sediment by unscrewing the cutting bit. So here's the sediment that was taken from the bottom of the lake. The next step is to cap the core. So starting at the top, while my hand is still on the bottom, I'm going to place one of these caps on the core. And I'll put another one on the bottom side and keeping the core oriented upright, I have a sediment core preserved from the bottom of the lake.